Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff with I Download Blog, and I have tried out Semi Restore. I have gone through the entire process a couple of times, and it works. This is my iPod Touch fourth generation, and as you can see, I have tons of stuff on here tons of jailbreak stuff, apps, uh, all sorts of things that have been modified on this particular device. You can see here I have some, um, if I can get it open, I have a song there. Um, I have notes, I have reminders, and I've just basically customized this. I have Jelly Lock on here. You see icons running. Um, so it's jailbroken. It has a lot going on. And uh, yeah, I'd like to eventually restore this back to default. So you can see I have some App Store apps there, the podcast app, Find My iPhone, iBooks. What else do we have here? Uh, let's see. I probably have some camera or some photos in here. So let me open up the Photos app. Uh, yeah, you can see eight photos there that I've taken. Uh, what else do we have? I have some notes, a couple of notes there. Probably have uh, some reminders, like I mentioned. There we go. There's my reminders. So as you can see, it's just heavily customized. Lots going on. Um, and I am running, as you can see here, iOS 6.1.2, which is the last firmware that was susceptible to the evasion jailbreak. So it's very important that I keep iOS 6.1.2 if I want to enjoy, you know, a continuous untethered jailbreak. Um, and that's really important for me to be able to maintain this firmware. Now, with that being said, what if I wanted to restore back to stock iOS? What would I do? Or at least as close to stock as possible. Well, that's where this new release comes in. And it is called Semi Restore. And it restores your iPhone back to stock, as far back to stock as possible without doing a full restore, put it that way. So it's pretty close to a full restore. You see open SSH, you will need that installed on your device. So make sure you have open SSH from Cydia. You can download that for free. You'll also need one more thing. You'll need the APT or the apt 0.7 strict. So make sure you have both of those, the open SSH and the APT apt 0.7 strict installed on your device. You will need both of those for the semi restore to work. Now make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. I'm going to show you my Wi-Fi IP address here for my device. You need to know that IP address. Make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi network as your computer. So here I am 10.0.1.12. I will be using that IP address. So just make note of that. I'm going to show you how easy it is to perform this semi restore. So let's hop on over to our Mac here. Here is my terminal window. First of all, you want to download the uh, semi-restore uh, package here, and this will be downloadable eventually. It's not out just yet, but once it is, you'll just download it like I have here. It's on my downloads folder, Jeff Downloads Semi-Restore Beta 5. So just put it in your downloads folder like this. If you follow this, um, this tutorial, you'll be able to do this with no problem. I'm pretty confident in that. So now what we need to do is we need to make sure we're in the uh, downloads directory. So I'm going to CD downloads right there so that we're in the right directory as the semi restore package. And now we can really get started. I'm going to run this command here. What this will do is it will transfer the semi restore beta file over to you see that that's the IP address of my iPhone or my iPod touch. And that will transfer it over to var root semi restore beta five. And that'll do that. It's going to ask for my password, which is Alpine. That is the stock iOS password. And you can see 100%. So it transferred for the uh, Semi Restore Beta 5 over to my iPod Touch, just like that. So now I'm going to connect back to the iPod Touch, SSH space root at 10.0.1.12. And then Alpine is the password. And you can see if I do it LS, you can see Semi Restore Beta 5 is there on my iPod Touch. Now, if you just want to get to this directory, I'm going to CD backslash ls. I'm going to show you how to get there from the root directory. at cd space var enter and then uh, ls you see you should see uh, root so cd space root enter and then ls and you see semi restore beta 5. That ls is a list command that shows you what's in the particular directory. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and set the permissions correctly. It's chmod space plus x space semi restore. And there we go. So now we are ready to run the command. It is a period slash semi restore dash beta five. It may be named something different once it actually is released. Obviously, it won't be beta. And then you just hit enter. Notice the iPod touch there. 
and then it's going to ask you not to touch your device, just leave it alone, and then go ahead and press the zero key and press enter to get the ball rolling on the semi-restore. So I'm going to do that right now. You see it? The screen is up. I'm going to hit the zero, enter, and there we go, folks. It is running the semi-restore, and all you really need to do here is just sit back, relax, grab your tea, grab your coffee, whatever your drink of choice is, and just relax and let this thing continue to run. Uh, sort of reminds you of a jailbreak, but in reverse, kind of. And what this does really, the um, really nice thing about the semi-restore is that it removes everything, all data, all app store apps, all jailbreak tweaks, um, any kind of data that you had out there, any customizations, it gets rid of it. Now, don't touch your device yet. Just let it continue to run. And let's continue to talk about the benefits of this. Like I was saying, this basically makes your device almost 100% stock. Now you will still have Cydia. Uh, I still have iFile on my uh, device as well after the semi-restore, but those are literally the only two customizations that I have after the semi-restore was finished. Um, so it removed all my notes, all my reminders, all my music, my photos, set all the settings back to stock, got rid of icon, got rid of jelly lock, and uh, got rid of everything, basically. I mean, you are literally setting up your device from scratch after semi-restore is completed. I mean, you're going through the iPod setup or the iPhone setup if you're using an iPhone or iPad setup if you're using an iPad. You're going back through the initial setup that you went through when you bought your device. That is how far back this thing is going. You'll have to set up all your Wi-Fi connectivity. Everything is pretty much toast. So if you're doing this, be sure that you back up any data um, that, you're, that you need. Uh, save off any notes that you need. Or uh, if you're using iCloud, hopefully you are, then you don't have to really worry about that. But, um, you know, it's going to remove everything. So if you have any pictures out there that you really want and you haven't saved them off, make sure you save those pictures. Make sure you save any music or whatever that you, uh, that you like and it's on your device because it is going to get rid of it all. So... Yeah, and we are almost finished here. We'll just let it run a few more minutes and see what where we are. We still have the Apple logo. And eventually we will come back up and then I'll go through the setup again. It looks like we're back up here. So let's go ahead and go back through the iPod setup. I'm gonna try to get through this as quickly as possible. I won't bore you guys with all the details here. So I'll usher through this really quick here and get that done. But as you can see, this this is the initial setup that happens when you set up your uh, device for the first time. So I'm going to put my Wi-Fi password or username in here or SSID, whatever you call it, and password, and uh, choose my network next. So as you can see, folks, semi restore. I was skeptical. You know, I had, I'll eat my crow. I was kind of skeptical about it. You know, it's not a full restore. So just make sure you understand that, but it's as close as you can get to a full restore and still maintain your firmware and hence still keep your jailbreak. That is the key, folks. That's the real key. So here you can see it, no icon, everything's back to normal, just how it is. All the app icons are back to normal. The only thing you have there, you still have Cydia and you have iFile, but you see Jelly Lock's gone. Uh, all my uh, you know, items are gone in my photos app. You'll see no, no, no photos or videos. Uh, let's see my notes. I have no notes. No reminders. Those are gone, as you can see. Uh, what about music? Do we have any music out there? Let's see. No, no content. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this really does do what it says it does. It does restore your device back to almost 100% stock and it will probably make your device run a lot faster. If it's starting to slow down, uh, then you may want to give this a try. It is semi-restore. There is no ETA just yet, but check out semi-restore.tk. That is the website that you can check out for status updates. So let me know what you guys think about semi-restore in the comment section below. We'll have a post on IDB as well, so check it out. This is Jeff with the iDownload blog.